Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can turn off AI overviews inside Google search results. Now, if you don't know what AI overviews is, just a quick recap here, this is the revamped version of what's called Search Generative Experience or SGE, where Google generates an AI answer based on informational type queries. So in this example, I asked Google, what is ChatGPT? And you'll see here, there's a long AI generated response with a few sources versus the traditional model like you would see in traditional search results. You'd have maybe something over here, depending on what you're searching, um, but you'd have videos, normal organic results, probably some ads. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this. Now, they announced this at their IO event the other day. So here's a quick demo that they did on a mobile device. How do you clean a fabric sofa? So this is what AI overviews looks like on mobile in search results. Now, obviously if you're in the SEO space, this is very concerning. This is another nail in the coffin for a lot of informational queries for SEO, but also guys from a user perspective, taking my SEO bias out of the equation, I would prefer the traditional results for a lot of queries like you would see here versus an AI generated response that Google is just stealing from a bunch of websites and then repurposing it using Gemini, uh, which takes up a lot of the SERP real estate or search engine results page real estate. So if you're not a fan of this AI overviews like myself and many others, the big question then becomes, how do I get rid of AI overviews? Is it even possible to get rid of AI overviews? And yes, it is possible right now, fingers crossed that it'll remain this way, um, because the reality is if you don't turn it off with the method that I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be enabled into AI overviews regardless if you want it or not. Google is just pushing this out to millions of people across the world, pushing their agenda. Um, so we can't do anything as users. You know, that's just the name of the game. Um, so how do we get rid of this? Well, right now there's a Chrome extension called Hide Google AI Overviews, and I'm surprised this is still around. The fact that it is in the Google Chrome store owned and operated by Google, um, this is around. It has almost five stars, 60 ratings. I believe it has over a thousand users now. Um, I believe it literally just came out about a day ago. So I would expect more of these to pop up. So guys, just in case this exact Chrome extension goes down, be sure to be searching the Chrome store for more extensions just like this. Because if this goes down, I guarantee you five or 10 others are going to pop back up. So what you want to do, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below, is come to this page here for Hide Google AI Overviews. Click Add to Chrome, click Add Extension, and then you'll see Hide Google AI Overview has been added to Chrome. So what I want to do now is click this option here, click Manage Extensions, and then what I want to do is pin it. So I'm going to come back, click the Pin button, and here it is right here. It's pinned. Um, so now what I want to do is let's test this in action. So if I go to google.com, make sure you're signed in because if you're not signed in, I don't believe this will work. And now let's ask it the exact same thing. Let's say, what is chat GPT? And so did you see that right away? So the AI overview originally showed up and then it vanished right away because I have this Chrome extension enabled and now it's back to the original search results that we're all used to seeing. And this is what I prefer anyways. So let's try a few more queries. Uh, how many states, let's do how many states are in the United States? Something that would prompt an AI overview most likely. This one gave us a featured snippet, so no AI overview. Um, let's do one more. Um, things to do in New York City. Another informational query that would prompt an AI overview. So let's do one more. How to clean a dishwasher. I'm just thinking of these off the top of my head. Um, so again, a featured snippet, but no AI overview. So it looks like this is working um, and it's very good so far. I haven't seen AI overviews in just the four or five queries that I entered. Uh, so again, it's this Google Chrome extension called Hide Google AI Overviews, and that will start blocking the overviews inside Google search. Now, one more thing I wanna call out for second measure here is if you see this little icon that says Search Labs, if you hover over it and you click that, you also wanna make sure that AI overviews is turned off. Sometimes you may have this turned on where it says right here, turned on. Um, I'm gonna click this, turn it off. Make sure that this is turned off inside Search Labs, which is labs.google.com. Uh, same with AI tools while browsing. Make sure both of these are turned off 
um, just for another measure there, because I don't think this Chrome extension would work if you had this turned on uh, inside Google Search Lab. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. I truly appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video valuable. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like this type of content. I hope you all have a great day. And lastly, I hope this video helped you stay informed in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence.